Speed World, where in the last video, we checked out this thing, the BMW M2, which I absolutely love. It's a beautiful car, and it's it's okay for racing, but definitely not good for online racing. I forgot to mention that in the last video. Before we begin the video, there is a comment that was posted on that video. The comment reads, the Rise of Parts is still powerful. The problem before was the inflated percentage in their characteristics bonus that allowed other cars to reach classes they were not built for. Pre patch for the performance parts, you could use about three Horizon parts regardless of what order, and your car basically was at its peak. When you use the full setup, you can hop a class higher or even two classes than your car was meant to be in. So, reality is they were basically fixing a glitch. And, uh, oh well, what are we gonna do, right? Like, Kristoff, I'm happy to see you're still keeping track of my videos. It's nice to see that. Once again, it's good to be back. Today, we are viewing one that was requested by a viewer four months ago off of the LFA video. My audio just go quiet? Yeah, my audio just went dead. Great, I gotta restart the game. Fun. Welcome to the Neighbor Seed World. A game with absolutely zero flaws. Anyway, as I was saying, this car was requested four months ago by a viewer. And it's a car I've already personally driven in the game because, honestly, it's one of my favorite cars made by Ford at this current time. It's a beautiful car, and it's insanely overpowered. Well, overpowered in real life. I'm not sure about it in the game. And you probably guessed what car we're talking about. The 2020 GT500. This is something they need to fix, because look at this. We got the red one for 515000 it's an insanely cheap price, right? Then we got the next one, which is pretty much the same thing, but a different color, along with the blue one for 825000 Why is there such a huge jump in price? That doesn't make any sense. Either way, we're going cheap. In real life, this car makes over 750 horsepower. If it goes 0 to 60 in like 3.5 seconds, it is a fast car. It is built solely for track. At least this carbon edition is. It is nothing to be sneezing at. But in the game, we'll have to find out what's any different. Of course, the viewer requested specifically to try this out on Team Escape, so that's what we're going to do. You ever see want to see this car at racing? Please let me know, and I'll be happy to give it a shot. First, let's test it out. Stop. And team escapes and it's a top of B class. It just so happens to be so we're gonna go to my favorite team escape compromised <laughs> oh. Okay, that perfect loss actually is really good. I was not expecting that I don't remember this car that much, but it's all getting it's been about four months since I actually played this game. It's a slidey boy I can't tell if it's a heavy hitter yet. That was a bad time civilians get out of the way. Why are there so many? That was not bad it's, it's not bad It's lighter than I thought it would be but it's not bad if you guys could just move out the way, that'd be so much appreciated. How are we gonna do here? Not very well. Okay, it's not as it's not as heavy as I imagined it would have been. Bing! I'm getting mixed signals from this car. <laughs> yeah, it seems heavy, but then there are moments where it doesn't seem heavy. It's quite a confusing car so far. It's probably one of the few cars that actually started. The okay, we destroyed that Rhino. I forgot what the hell I was saying. Bing! <laughs> yeah, cap killer. <laughs> I wonder if it's a tank that says that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, 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 wait, I drove right into that one. That's on me. Where it's 80 miles an hour, we've lost about 30 miles an hour, which is not the worst thing I've seen, actually. I've seen much worse. The steering is not the greatest. It likes to slide, but then again, why would an American car not like to slide, right? <laughs> it's not like this was built for track or anything. It's actually proven to be a good team escape car. At the start, it didn't seem like it would be, but it's definitely, like, with it, that's the crease driving. It seems to be doing quite well. Yeah, it's a, it's surprisingly doing very well. I wonder how it's going to do when I boost its performance. I got the hang of how it drives now. It's sliding, but it's easy to figure it out. <laughs> and we crossed the line with a minute and 20 seconds left at the clock. Did a hell of a lot better than BMW M2 did. So yeah, I think this is going to be a good team escape car. Let's see how we do when we upgrade it. Right, right now it's a top B class. We know it's going to do well in B-Class stock. So, let's go ahead and bring it up to the top of A-Class. We're going to do Late Departure, my second favorite team escape. But first, let's check out the aftermarket shop. I can't remember if there's anything in here. I don't think there is. Nope, no body kits. We got spoilers, no hoods. We got wheels. Obviously, all of the other stuff, but there, there's no body kits, no hoods. So, nothing special in terms of customization. You just do what you can. This already comes with black tint, so that's nice. Stage 3 lower kit, it's a must. And let's throw on some nice wheels. Uh, not, that's not quite gonna work. What about these? Too big? Just right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nope. I gotta do it. Just because I know it's got more than 500 horsepower. It's gonna cost me 250 boosts, but it's worth it. I wasn't planning to mess with the paint, but because I know what the original color looks like, let's see if we can find it. Match it a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, something like that. That's close enough. I do wonder why the other ones cost, was that $300,000 more? Why is that? Is there a reason for that? Like, I wanna legitimately want to know. All right, I'm gonna bring it to the top of A-Class. I'll be right back. That didn't take very long. Top of A-Class, we got Dynamo Aftermarket Kits Elite Series Edge 2914 and a 339 Brakes 
Grom, Gromlin, Brace Series, Brake Pads, Brakes, Rotors, whatever the hell, it's probably the whole braking system, I don't know. We got an overall of 699, to be expected, top speed of 738, acceleration to 861, and handling of 500. So the handling does need to go up, and I think the one that got the most increase was definitely top speed by a gain of 168. That's absolutely insane. 112,000! Costly. Obviously, we're building this for pursuit. I'm excited about that. It's increased juggernaut duration. Collision force, we gotta do that. That's an absolute requirement. Not too worried about juggernaut cooldown. I don't quite use it as often as others do. Juggernaut power, so when we do use it, we gotta increase power with juggernaut. Yeah, let's increase the ramp to maximum and then do the rest with uh, pursuit cash. That's gonna cost me 378,000, but I sure hope to hell we make it up with the races that we do because I'm now under 12 million. All right, late departure. Here we go. <laughs> I haven't done that in so long. I'm gonna mess up so bad. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about right there. Mm, steering's a little worse, but as I guess that's expected. <laughs> Bro, that is, this car is so light now, that's awesome. Cop, those charger cops don't stand a chance. How did the rhinos fare though when I get to it? I need to try that out. Not bad. Is it much better than I thought it would? Yeah. Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> you know when you tell people you went for a spin, that just brought it to a whole new level. Oh no, 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 no I forgot about that! I remembered in the last second, but I still got through it really well, actually. I wasn't expecting this car to do as well as it's doing. We're flying through this quite quickly. I don't remember which one I hit. Ah! Okay. This car's legitimately impressing me. But I don't think it's going to do that well when we do, uh, you know, the S1 class one. <laughs> you know, it's been four months since the guy requested it. Chances are he's already tested it, but I'm still going to do it anyway. Just in case anyone else is curious. It does well. I, I'm actually pleasantly surprised by this car. I don't, I don't think it broke a record time, but it still did so freaking well. Like, we got this done in, with almost just two minutes left on the clock. Almost two minutes. That is insane. I didn't use any power-ups. I had no reason to. Late departure doesn't really give you a whole lot of cash, but it is easy to do over and over again in a short period of time. So, that's definitely something that I definitely would recommend checking out. Another one that's really good for this stuff is uh, high stakes. High stakes you can do over and over again in such a short period of time and get decent rewards. One thing that still hasn't changed is the number of cops you destroy. The more money you get. All right, time to bring us up to S1 class. All right, we're top of S1 class. The top three are Dynamo, Aftermarket Kids, Elite Series. The suspension is Tier, Elite Series, and the brakes are Ventura Pro Series. I remember Ventura being like one of the top brands you can get in the original ones. Got an overall 799, top speed of 897, acceleration of 944, and handling of 557. Each one of those have went up a good bit. Top speed especially seems to be a popular one, but that's probably because of the top three parts. Now we're at the top of S1 class, so we gotta do Lions of State, my most 100% totally my favorite one to do. <laughs> Don't date it or anything. <laughs> I'm going to deeply regret this. It says concentration kicking now. No, I'll be not. I don't have any concentration. Ah! I was gonna hit one eventually. Oh my god, I forgot how much chaos is in this one. Holy crap! Ah! Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for those who are listening intently. This thing is a lot faster than it was in A-Class. I think it's obvious, though. What do you expect from bringing up the S1 class? Jesus Christ. It's also handling a lot better. I say as I get destroyed. The excessive amount of rhinos is just ridiculous. Hey, rhinos, what up? Holy crap. <laughs> no. Is this ridiculous? I, for I keep, I can't, how do I forget how ridiculous this is? I know it, I remember it, but I don't remember it as well. Every single time I get to it, it's just pure chaos every single time. And it seems to get worse every single time. It's not gonna wait too fast for this one. Oh my goodness, I have to use trigger knife. Wall ride, Whee! Oh, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Get out of here, get out of here, okay. Oh, where the hell did he come from? Holy crap. Ah, spikes! Did we hit it? Did we hit it? I don't think we hit it. We got lucky. Holy crap, I thought it was like inches away from the spike strips. Okay! Hello, friends! What's up? Go away, please. <laughs> Why do I keep calling friends when I know they're out to kill me? That was way too close. Oh, yeah, I'm used to drinking after this part. I remember this part. It's hard to forget this part. Screw you guys. Oh, wait. Why is it so empty now? Why is it so empty? Oh, there it is. Hey! Ah! Oh no, I used trigger at the wrong time. Did I use it at the right time? I can't remember, man. It's been too long. Oh, there's a stadium. Oh, I got busted the first time I did that. I did right here. I think it was right here. Ah! Jesus Christ, hey dudes, what's up? <laughs> the same spot. You guys are an utter pain in my ass. Oh my god, this is why I turn on Juggernaut. Hey guys, what's up? Ah! Okay, we're good. That was the most horrendous scream I've ever heard in my life. I think we got it. Uh, yeah, watch yourself. Watch 
We got it with just under 40 seconds left. That's freaking awesome. That's probably the best I've ever done that. That's awesome. So getting a car that doesn't start out in S1 class is probably a better choice for this team escape. <laughs> All right. I'm happy. Anyway, so it's definitely approved for S1 class team escapes. Alliance is a state. 45k does not feel like it's worth it. Got race suspension I'm never going to use. If there's even a place for S2 class, we're going to do most want. Is most wanted no longer just S2 class? Wait, wait, wait. If there's. Hold on. So most wanted is a race now. Where the hell is most wanted? Show incompatible events. There we go. There's most wanted team escape. I lost it. That one is actually a lot easier than the one we just did. And it's a higher class team escape, which doesn't quite make much sense. But either way, I'm gonna go ahead and tune this up to S2 class. I'll be right back. All right. Well, that didn't take very long. All the parts are now matched from red to green. Overall, it's now 823 which is the highest I can get it without putting purple parts on it. Top speed is 927, acceleration is 959, which is like a Porsche, apparently. 584 is the handling. Not a huge, insane improvement. Uh, nonetheless, we're still gonna do it in S2 class most wanted. But right now, it's definitely very well suited for S1 class team escapes, but we're still gonna give this a shot. Most wanted, here we come. Uh, section my uh, site. Third favorite team escape to do. Oh, okay, I know you're a slidey boy, but that was way too much slidey. You bastard! Damn you, Corvette! Why are you backing up into me like that? Jesus Christ, lucky you know what you're doing. What the hell? How did I do that? <laughs> that was awesome! Okay! This is always the fun part. Dodge the rhino in a narrow lane. Oh. Straight down the middle we go! Wow! Okay, I know you're an American car, but you don't have to keep proving it to me at the worst times. Actually, that was a quite nice move. I was trying to avoid hitting the wall. It did just that. I could have done the American thing when I was running to at the Rhino. Ah! Good job. <laughs> ah! Okay. Color me impressed. I've never seen that in my life. Beautiful. Bellissimo. Civilian. You might have actually helped there. Don't look a taxi. Just had to do that. I have a grudge against taxis. Hey, Rhino. Ah! So something I determined a while back when I was testing out all team escapes to find out which one made the most money. I actually found that this one does when you have an S2 class top of its class. You do it over and over again, you can make the most money off of this one. With the, but be it, when you destroy the most cops as you possibly can. This one is a very effective one to do if you want to make money. Team, team escapes in general are a better way to make money. But this one makes the most out of all of them, in my experience. And it might be different for everybody else. I know where you are! Run! Did we jump over him? How the hell did I just do that? That was awesome. Run, Flitz! Bing! Whee! We jumped up. <laughs> okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> no surprise there. It's actually really good for S2 class, but I, I would recommend. No, actually, no. I think I would go for this one. If you got purple parts, I wonder what that goes up to. As it turns out losing handling is a normal thing when it comes to the purple parts. It happened with this one as well. Your overall only goes up by 11, but you do get an increase in acceleration and uh, top speed, which is also apparently normal. These aren't as oppressive as they used to be, but apparently they were OP before, which I really enjoyed. Now I'm gonna stick with the originals, which is fine. It works either way. I just, I'm also very picky about what cars I actually put these parts on since they're so hard to get, even though I have such a large amount of them. Now I came into this video wondering, is this a good Team Escape bar? Yes. And yes, it is. It is actually a lot better than I thought it would be. It handles well, except for a lot of sliding. It's It, it handles like a raw American muscle car. As you might expect. Very fun to drive. And it, when you put the right parts on it in the skill workshop, it has a very well. It's a very good hidden car. It knocks out cops quite well. It does pretty well against the rhinos. Is it the best I've done in terms of rhinos? No. But it's up there on that list. I've never actually tried this for team escapes. So this has definitely impressed me. If you're looking for a team escape car and this is something you were looking at on that list, go for it. It's very good for S1 because that wasn't a pain in the ass. And I managed to finish it with just under 40 seconds on the list left of the clock. Which is more than I can say for the other ones I've done. That's a very good late departure. I meant to do that with almost two minutes left on the clock. So yeah, go for it if you want to make this a team escape car. Probably not the best for racing. I think that's quite apparent with how much it slides. Now if you're racing against other muscle cars, this might do well. It's probably the better handling muscle car besides some of the classics. Like the El Camino. Anyway, that is all the time I got for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, crash it to the like button. If you'd like to see more content like this, Subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to keep up to date with all my videos. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Deuces!